Hi, this is Keith from superaffiliatepage.com and I'm going to explain how to use the edit page option in the members area. And the first link is choose site. As you can see, I've got nine sites added. It tells you that at the top. And depending on your membership level, it will tell you how many you can have altogether. And also at the top is the name of the site you're currently editing. If you have no sites already set up, you get a blank space and you just type in the name of the site and update and you select the site you want to edit and click update. The next stage is site settings and in this section you select a few details for the site the first two are your site name and your site URL, that's uh, your domain of course. The third option is the URL of your image folder and you need to enter this if you're going to use affiliate banners, ebook covers, CD covers etc. And this would normally be uh, yourdomain.com slash images. So obviously in my case superaffiliatepage.com slash images. And um, this next option is for a signature URL. So if you want an image of your signature to appear at the bottom of the tools page, you just put the URL in here. And then we've got a zip file URL. That's if you create a zip file with all your banners, graphics, emails in, you can put the URL here and that'll then appear on your uh, tools page. And you need your owner's name and contact email address if you want those to appear on your page. Then moving further down the page we have an option for which um, affiliate program you're going to use and this defaults to Clickbank because that's the one I'm expecting most people to use but you could select pay.com or one of the other options instead. If you've selected Clickbank you just enter your Clickbank vendor name here, which for mine is Super A Page, and the item number which you're going to be selling, uh, which for mine is item 1. And the final option is to enter details of the template which will appear um, around your tools page and you want that to match your the rest of your website. There's a few options here header and footer URLs, template URL, header and footer text or template text. And if I update that will display a form here. So if you select header and footer URLs you need to put in a URL of your header and footer fairly obviously. If you select template URL you just put one URL in here. I'm just going to go back and pick a different example. Just push button giveaways We'll then go to site settings and down the bottom here you can see this one is actually using template URL and here's the URL. I'm going to show you the actual template which is just uh, an empty template which your uh, graphic designer would normally send you and all you need to do is type in curly brackets with body and capitals uh, in, the, in the empty space in your template and this is where the software will insert all your tools. So that's the easiest option to use. So that's the one I'm going to recommend. The other ones it's f fairly similar if you select template text you would then need to paste in um, you need to paste in the HTML of your whole page in there. If you select header and footer URLs you've got to update after that just go down there. If you select header and footer URLs you need two URLs in there, obviously one for the header and one for the footer, which just means you've broken this template up into two pieces. And same again, you can enter your header and footer text as HTML into the uh, two forms that will appear here. And that's it for this section, so thank you for watching.